neonatologist, I work at Texas Children's Hospital where in the largest NICU in the country, we take care of the most critically ill babies. So a lot of our patients uh, suffer from many different medical and surgical complications, either at the time of birth or after birth into young childhood. And what I think the value of staving, saving one's baby's uh, umbilical cord blood is that those stem cells are what we call you know, pluripotent cells. They can become all kinds of different cells within the human body. And we already know that stem cells have been used successfully to treat for children who have childhood cancers, you know, hematologic problems, immune problems. Um, and now there's a bunch of research going on as well at looking at stem cells' ability to help ameliorate problems that babies could be born with or suffer from later in life. life. Things like autism, cerebral palsy. When you're going through reproductive uh, assistive technology, you may not be completely a genetic match with your newborn baby and for sure with adoption. And so in those situations, saving your newborn's uh, cord blood is really important because it's just an opportunity for me to have some genetically matched blood uh, should my child need it. And so all of those uh, trials that are currently going on which could show how stem cells can help ameliorate some of those problems are very exciting and without actually banking uh, one's baby's cord blood we can't do that kind of research.